Okay, so here in this question, what are we talking about? We are going to plan an investigation to determine the effect of the mass of uh, sugar on the volume of carbon dioxide produced by a yeast suspension. So here, you know, whenever we are planning an investigation, what is very important is to talk about variables. So here, planning an investigation, when I say, Okay, so what, you know, I will be considering first that what are my variables? What are those? I will be talking about my independent variable. Independent variable. Then, you know, I'll talk about my dependent variable. This is very, very important. This is how, you know, we actually um, uh, design our experiment. Dependent variable means the outcome of the experiment, how we are going to determine. And then we will be talking about controlled variables as well. Controlled variable means we are going to keep them constant. So when, you know, I am looking at this question, particularly here, you know, they are asking me, determine the effect of the mass of sugar. This is one thing. Okay, mass of sugar. So means this is basically my independent variable. Why this is independent variable? Because I am going to use different masses of sugar to investigate the effect of it. So this is what I am going to prepare. At least this will be my first point here. Let me change the color. So when I'm talking about independent variable, what I am going to do, take at least two different masses, two different masses of sugar. It will be very good if we talk about which apparatus are we going to use that. So you can say that, you know, what using balance or weighing machine. Okay, so this is I, my independent variable. Now, you know what I am going to do next, because now, you know, I have to uh, find my dependent variable, isn't it? So how will I find dependent variable? In my dependent variable, I must know that what is controlled in, in my, uh, you know, what is controlled in my experiment. So whenever, you know, I am talking about this, my independent, my dependent variable is going to be the volume of gas, right? Volume of gas, carbon dioxide, which is produced, but how I am going to measure it. This is very, very important. All right. So what can I do? I can actually measure the height or volume of the dough, because of course, you know, when, you know, uh, it will respire when, you know, this respiration occurs, what will happen that carbon dioxide will be released as they have mentioned volume of carbon dioxide produced. So dough will, uh, you know, it will increase in size, isn't it? it, we, it we can measure the height or the volume of the dough. So what we will do here, we will measure the height of dough, height which is increasing due to the production of carbon dioxide. Keeping in mind, what will be my control variable? This is very, very important uh, when, you know, we are talking about it. So time, right? The time, you know, that, uh, you know, I have to uh, keep it like, you know, whether my time is going to be the same or whether, you know, my time is going to be the different ones. So I think for independent variable, when I'm taking, I can actually measure the time as well to produce uh, this height, right? So it means I can measure the time as well, okay? measure the time to produce what carbon dioxide. Now, you know what I am going to keep the same. My controlled variable, which should be temperature. Okay, temperature, you know, it should be kept constant. Also, you know, yeast, 
okay source of yeast or type of yeast okay yeah so this is source or like you can say age of yeast it should be the same okay so this is going to be the constant variable right i i am going to keep it the same also you know you can talk about the mass of yeast yeah it's not like you know in one we are putting more in one you know we are putting less Okay, so these are the ones that, you know, I am going to uh, put that. Also keeping in mind, I should mention additional points here, like, you know, so this is about my uh, three variables. Now, you know, how I am going to improvise where, you know, actually I am going to, uh, I am talking about this temperature. So how I am going to keep it the same. Okay, here, you know, you can talk about water bath, or like, you know, using what, using thermometer. So this is how, you know, using thermometer. So this is how, you know, I am going to do that. When, you know, I am talking about measuring the time. So here, you know, you can talk about a stopwatch, a stop clock. So these are the apparatus that, you know, you are going to talk about it. Then, you know, generally how, what else you are going to talk about with score marks? You are going to talk about repeating the experiment. Repeat the experiment. Repeat the experiment to find average and reduce anomalies. We can talk about it. Also, you know, we can talk about safety precautions that, you know, we are going to take. Okay, safety precautions, for example, what wear goggles, right, or gloves. Yeah, these are the general safety precautions that, you know, we can talk about it. Also, you know, we can talk about the control experiment. Controlled variable is different where actually, you know, you are taking it what you are taking it constant, constant variable, right? It means keeping the thing same. But, you know, control experiment is what you can actually, you know, set up one control experiment, which will actually be without that thing, without like, for example, if, you know, you are taking uh, you know, uh, uh, you are determining the effect of the mass of sugar produced by a yeast suspension. So maybe, you know, you, you in one of the experiment, you don't put sugar, right? So that will be your control experiment, right? Yeah, because if you are not putting the sugar, it means there is not going to be any reaction. So yeah, with or without that variables, it will help you understand that how, you know, a particular variable is affecting in the experiment. 